Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to another video, okay? So check this out. I have an epic video lined up just for you. Today, we will be unboxing two new Strike Attack figures right here. Green Atrociraptor, the Lophosaurus. We're gonna take a look at this vintage Jurassic Park Pteranodon set right here. We're gonna be opening some of these surprises right here. We'll take a look at some of the latest Strike Attacks as well as the Danger Packs. I'm gonna be doing a mini collection video of our Sauropods right here and mini Atrociraptor collection and of course, mini Dilophosaurus collection. This video is gonna be epic. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, before we get started, I have a question for you, okay? This is basically the space where I display all my Atrociraptors, okay? So do you think the green Atrociraptors, we should actually put it together with the other danger packs and the strike attacks? Or do you think we should be putting it right here together with all the other Atrociraptors which are not here at the moment because they are all at Basement Dino Dungeon. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, okay? Hey guys, yes, welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon, okay? So yes, I need the opinion of you guys. Let me know down below whether we should, you know, continue to put all the different Atrociraptors in that little corner or should we put them together with the danger packs as well the strike attack okay so without further ado we have to start our review video right now okay so let's get started all right guys so let's begin okay check out this setup right here so you can see i'm actually putting my logo more towards the front because i've realized that People have been stealing my videos and uploading it to another China social media and they are just covering my logo so I'm trying to make the logo as huge as possible right now okay hope you guys don't mind okay so let's begin okay the star of today is definitely this one right here okay the green Atrociraptor strike attack Atrociraptor do you guys know that Atrociraptors, they are actually bigger than Velociraptors? And the name actually means Savage Teeth or Savage Robber, okay? So let's check out the box. So right at the back, you're able to find the other three latest strike attack, which is um, this one right here, which is uh, Gigan Spinosaurus. I almost can't remember the name of this. Of course, the Lophosaurus right at the back and this prehistoric animal right here which is known as Prestosuchus. But first, let's take a look at the Atrociraptor, green Atrociraptor. Let's just release it from its cage. We are going to scan this together for sure, 100%. Hopefully it works, okay? So let's have a look at this beautiful green Atrociraptor. This actually reminds me of the male raptor right at the back the one with the hair right at the back one of the raptors um, with hair um, uh, from Jurassic World okay so let's have a look at this all right guys so this is basically the scan code for you to scan in your Jurassic World facts ad but I've actually tried it multiple times and it doesn't seem to work so I'm not too sure whether it's you know an issue with my app or you know maybe this figure is just too too new the fax app has not registered this figure yet so i need the help of you guys to let me know down below okay so now let's have a close look at this beautiful colored you know green colored atrociraptor and this is basically the first the one and only strike attack atrociraptor you can see the head is actually nodding very cool the jaw you have to open it and close manually on your own the arms you can move them up and down you can also rotate them so that's very very cool in terms of the legs you're able to rotate them as well 360 degrees but you it, you know it, it gets blocked right here so you have to turn it right back okay so this is basically the latest atrociraptor let's have a quick comparison with all the other atrociraptors okay so check this out so like i've mentioned this is the one and only strike attack atrociraptor 
So this ghost is basically from the danger pack. So this is a Atrociraptor ghost. This is an extreme damage Atrociraptor tiger, the one and only Atrociraptor tiger so far. And this one is more like a generic um, Atrociraptor that came along with a vehicle set. And this is basically Atrociraptor red, individual pack. And of course, this uh, I'm not too sure which one is the individual pack. The other one is the one that um, came along with another Atrociraptor. So you can see the print, the print on its body is actually different. You can find some patterns on the right thigh as well as the um, left thigh, but not for this one. So they are actually different Atrociraptors. Of course, we have Panthera right here, okay, which is also a danger pack, okay. So very cool. So let's move on to our next figure, which is the Dilophosaurus, okay? All right, Dilophosaurus. Before we actually open this Dilophosaurus, reveal this Dilophosaurus, let's open one of these eggs right here, okay? We have been waiting for the baby Velociraptor hatchling. So let's open this up. Let's do this. Okay, so I've basically cut the pack open without looking at it so let's try and um let's see what's inside okay i've actually taken a peek i don't think it's the baby velociraptor so yep but it is the charyptosaurus which is nice because this figure is pretty rare let's pop in the head and of course the tail and um there you go charyptosaurus which is known as a helmet lizard it is a duck dude dinosaur which is closely related to the Iguanodons, Edmontosaurus, Parasaurolophus. I'm my tongue got tight just now. So Charyptosaurus on cot. Beautiful figure. Okay, so now let's move on to the Dilophosaurus. Alright, I've placed the green Atrociraptor back onto its packaging so it looks better that way. So now let's have a look at this. It looks really beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the box. So similarly, you're able to find three different strike attacks right here. So let's cut the strings loose to release the Dilophosaurus from this cage. Oh my goodness, there is a tie right here, a zip tie. So. Fortunately, we have found our yellow scissors back. So, but we have to be really careful because the way we have to cut this, it may accidentally cut the dino. Okay, I'm trying my best. Okay, I think this way is much better. Let's cut it loose. We can do this, guys. Come on. No, I don't want to scratch the, the figure. You have to get your parents to help you. I mean, if you are a kid, definitely 100%. Yep, finally, guys. Yep, did we make any scratch on the legs? Nope, fortunately not. Okay, so we have the Strike Attack Combat Extreme Dilophosaurus right here. This paint scheme has got to be the coolest one so far I've ever seen on a um, Dilophosaurus, okay? So this basically acts like the Fierce Force Dilophosaurus. You push the tail upwards, the frill will just open up and close. So very cool. Of course, the frill will just spring right open. I really love it when um, the frills are actually open up, okay? So the arms, you're also able to move them up and down. You're able to rotate them. The legs, you're able to rotate them as well. Of course, it comes with the scan code, okay? So check this out. Do you guys want to scan this? Pause the video, try to scan it. If you are able to scan, please comment down below and let me know because I can't seem to scan it, okay? All right, let's move on. Okay, so right here, I've actually brought three Dilophosaurus to show you because they are using the exact same mechanism. Savage Strike, I think this one is known as the um, Legacy Collection. The colors are, you know, more Jurassic Park. If I'm not wrong, this one is also from uh, uh, Fierce Frost, I, I, I think. Yeah, but you guys can see they are basically all the same. But don't, you know, later on, I'm still going to show you guys like plenty of other Dilophosaurus. They're all right here on the floor, okay? So make sure you stay tuned for the entire collection of Dilophosaurus, okay? Let me place all the Dilophosaurus away. And now it's time for us to take a look at this Jurassic Park nano playset. I think you guys have seen this before, but I wanted to show you guys this. 
because I've actually placed the captive collection Tyrannosaurus Rex right here on this playset and you can see these are actually the footprints of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and check this out guys they uh, I mean this T-Rex is made for this playset you know you can see the you know the, the feet size are basically matching the footprint size which is kind of incredible so you can just place Rexy right here just in front of the gate and it looks so cool of course you are able to find um, the Ford Explorer as well as the Jeep Wrangler right in front this is the Jeep, Jeep Wrangler and this is the Ford Explorer beautiful and right here you are able to find some Velociraptors but I think this T-Rex might be a bit too big yeah it might be a bit too big in, I mean in terms of the size comparison okay just gonna put this on right here okay now let's move on to other figures okay I'm gonna be opening some of this we are still hoping to get the Ankylosaurus and a non um, shiny T-Rex so let's try to get get it we're gonna open one two three four five five packs right now but yes as per usual we've got the Pteranodon again which is very very frustrating this also feels like another Pteranodon which is very frustrating let's open up yep there you go <laughs> another Pteranodon seems like all of them are Pteranodons this one also seems to be a Pteranodon I'm not kidding you yep we are getting all Pteranodons great fantastic we are going to do a mini Pteranodon collection okay this one is 100% on a Pteranodon but uh, it could be the blue Baryonyx yeah there you go blue Baryonyx so basically they're all the same there is no brown T-Rex and there is no Ankylosaurus yeah I think so this one is something different oh blue oh yes blue is kind of rare so I'm pretty happy to get this okay let, now let's move on to the next item okay next up let's have a look at this set right here guys this incredible set no wait a minute I think you guys must be wondering where is the that Elasmosaurus so this is basically the um Dino Trekkers Gigantic Trekkers Elasmosaurus best of the best the best figure so far of all Dino Trekkers and you can see this scan code isn't working for me as well so I want you guys to comment down below whether it's working for you and this is just absolutely amazing such a beautiful figure so the left the right button actually moves the neck as well as the jaw the left button basically moves the neck to to the left only not to the right only to the left you're able to rotate the flippers you're able to move them up and down and the way i'm displaying this elasmosaurus is that i'm trying to make it stand as tall as possible so it doesn't take up too much space if you put the flippers on you know you know like lying flat it would actually take up more space in terms of the width so move the flippers and um, kind of like a vertical manner so it doesn't take up that much space when it comes to the width so it's a it's easier for you to display so I, I display it like this looks amazing I feel okay okay another okay before we actually move on to the Bistar Hevasaur let's have a look at this Pteranodon set I've actually got it from a thrift store from a friend it was very kind and let go this set to me at a very very low price yeah so let me show you what's inside this is basically from 1997 um, Hasegawa is a kind of like a Japanese kind of um, brand so let's have a look at what's inside so it's basically a pteranodon model I wouldn't call it a figurine it's more like a model so you have to like remove the head and pop in to this little hole right here to complete um, the pteranodon but I don't think I'll be opening this I just want to keep this in its original packaging because it is like a piece of history and this is basically the instruction sheet which is still very well preserved very very cool and it comes with a postcard right here so it's absolutely amazing I love this um, let me show you how I intend to keep this okay Alright guys, so this is basically how I intend to display this beautiful vintage collection Okay, inside this plastic casing I'm gonna be putting this at level 2 Jurassic World Midlands 
you know, the Jurassic Park section, okay? Alright, next up, let's take a look at the Bistar Hebasaur. Right, okay, I think this has got to be one of the very, very unique, you know, Dino Trackers. This is the very first time I'm seeing the spine bones, okay, possibly not called the spine bones, the spikes that can actually retract, that can close up, which is kind of cool. So the other button actually moves the neck. So some of you guys actually told me to make it like loose, looser, so that you know the neck can actually move um, in a wider angle. So point taken, I will try to adjust um, you know the uh, the tracking gear right here later on. Okay. Now I think it's time for us to open up another one of these eggs. Okay, so let's open this. All right. Let's have a look at what this is. Compi, comes to nethers, okay, I don't mind because this is actually one of the rare ones as well But of course, we would prefer to have the Ambo Velociraptor hatchling So let's pop in the tail Comes to nethers, what does the name mean for comes to nethers? You guys do remember, I have totally forgotten Is it known as the um, tiny one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the killer rating of 3, intelligence of 1, okay? So they basically hunt in packs. If you guys remember, you know, Jurassic Park movie, they hunt in packs and they were able to take down a human, you know, when they all work together, which is kind of like very scary. Okay, next up, mini sauropod collection. What is this big, gigantic beauty right at the back? Any... Any takers? Anybody know knows the answer? It is not an Apatosaurus, it is the Dreadnoughters. Okay, Dreadnoughters. So for the Dreadnoughters, it is basically our one and only Dreadnoughters, but I've actually brought a couple of other sauropods to show you guys, okay? So we have a mini sauropods collection video right now, okay? So this is basically known as the Ampelosaurus and is actually known as the Vine Lizard. I love this sauropod. You can actually see it is actually an armored dinosaur filled with spikes filled with tough osteoderm so it basically forms a very protective um, armor against predators similarly to the amagosaurus I would, I would also call this i wouldn't call this armor but all this neural spine bones definitely soft um, definitely serves as a deterrence against predators for sure you wouldn't want to bite this area because it's filled with spikes so I think the carniv carnivores would definitely you know, aim for the neck somewhere around this region so this is an Amagosaurus quite an old figure this was released a couple of years back probably back in 2018-2019 um, uh, can't, really, can't really remember this is actually part of the um, Mega Dewa attack figurine very nice figure alright next up I'm gonna show you guys like a couple of Brachiosaurus. We do have um, two huge Super Colossus in the, um, the Monster Island room. I can perhaps bring you there quickly later on. So check this out. We have three baby Brachiosaurus. One of them is actually known as Firecracker. So very, very adorable. And um, we have two tiny little sauropods right here, which is which are known as Mazarus right here. And Mazarus basically means the mouse lizard okay follow me over to monster island room right now okay all right welcome to monster island room i spent um you know some time to actually clean the room up so you can see this part is actually empty because we have to place dranada's back right here a trusseraptor back right here and um yes we have the two super colossal brachiosaurus right in the middle, one is actually the Jurassic World Dominion version, the other one is basically a Legacy Collection version, okay? So let's hit back. Okay, we are done with the Mini Sauropod Collection, so now let's take a look at some, okay, or rather one, okay, just one. Hammond Collection, this one is basically one of our latest addition. Alan Grant and Velociraptor Hammond Collection um, figure. This is actually uh, one of the raptors from, was it The Lost World? Nope, Jurassic Park 3, I think. I think so. I think it's Jurassic Park 3. So, and inside this little sling bag, you can actually find the stolen Velociraptor eggs right here. 
absolutely amazing stuff. And of course, he himself is carrying a backpack, so he's actually carrying two bags. Very cool. And recently, we also added, you know, the 93 classics. You know, you guys have seen the Red Rex multiple times. You have seen the um, Galley Monuments as well, and this is basically the Dilophosaurus. So yeah, this is also part of our Dilophosaurus collection. Really, really beautiful figure, I would say. Yep, really nice figure. And this Dilophosaurus doesn't have the frill, which is nice. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the latest strike attacks. So strike attacks are basically the figures with, you know, some kind of a um, movement, I would say. You're able to move the tail or press a button and um, the, some other parts will move along. So if the Dilophosaurus, we have the Atrociraptors, and this is basically the Prestosuchus. Prestosuchus is not a dinosaur. It was a um, prehistoric animal. What kind of species? I can't really remember and I can't remember what does the name. I think it's known as the Flash, flash Lizard. No, I don't think so. Prestosuchus. What does Prestosuchus mean? Let me know down below. I'm getting old. My 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 memory is failing me. I'm not. I'm not kidding you. Okay. Next up, we have the um, Hererosaurus Strike Attack. This figure is um pretty recent as well. Similarly to the um Zuni Ceratops. Yep. This one has a huge button. Very easy to operate. Very nice figure. And recently, there is this Gigan Spinosaurus. So Gigan Spinosaurus, you are able to move the head and the tail will move along. So you, you can't move the tail to activate the head or the neck. It works the other way around, okay? Gigan Spinosaurus, very, very beautiful one. Um, I really can't remember many of the new figures that um, you know, we have added, you know, as in the meaning of the name. I can't remember many of them. Two pan dactylus is not a strike attack. It is one of the um, um, latest danger packs. It is a beautiful figure. Danger packs are slightly cheaper than the strike attacks, I would say. Okay, and here's another strike attack. So this is basically the Dimetrodon, and this is actually quite a cool feature. Instead of pushing the tail upwards or downwards, they make you rotate the tail, which is very, very nice. I didn't know you can actually move the tail. I didn't know you could actually rotate the tail until like a couple of days ago. Which is kind of like, oh no, come on Dan, you should know this better than most most people. Okay, next up we have the Shenhuanosaurus right here. So Shenhuanosaurus is actually our dinosaur which was discovered in China. We need more facts about this for sure. I need to do some um um, revision of all my names and the na and the meaning of the names. Pianitsky Saurus right here is also a new danger pack. Very cool figure. Okay, in terms of the coloration, it is absolutely amazing. All right, next up, let's open up our last egg right here. You guys must be wondering how many eggs do we actually have? Okay, this is our last few. We won't be opening. I think in the next video we will open one or two more. That that's all we have. Alright guys, we've got a Joe Sternberger. Joe Sternberger. There are many names that I need to um uh, many of the dinosaurs, I mean the new figures, I really need to know more facts about them to tell you guys. So Joe Sternberger looks like a pteranodon, but it's actually not a pteranodon, okay? But it's closely related to a pteranodon. And uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, the weight is roughly about six six hundred pounds. 600 pounds oh no sorry 60 pounds <laughs> I beg your pardon okay which is kind of um lightweight i would say it's not too heavy and um you can see it is um roughly about 3.1 meters the height of it probably that's the length like i guess okay gliding jerusalem burger beautiful artwork i would say all right next up we are going to do a mini Dilophosaurus collection okay so what i mean by mini so i'm gonna show you some figures not my entire collection so this is basically a jurassic park Dilophosaurus. the sounds are still working very cool you can see this claw is actually moving when i'm pressing this button right here and there's another button right here as well this frill can be removed which is awesome and this figure is actually from hasbro 
year 2000 and um, right here we have a green variation um, the sounds are supposed to work but you know I think we have to change the batteries again the batteries run out pretty fast and um, this is actually one of the recent ones uh, this is actually a um, epic attack Galophosaurus very cool it actually produces lights when you press this button you guys have seen this before so I'll not spend too much time on it um, of course we have more figures right here this is another one uh, this one it should also have sound there you go very very cute um, sounds I would say and uh, let's have a look at this okay 1993 wow this is a pretty old figure and of course the frill can be removed um, as well very very cool all right there are more more of them this one came along with Claire but I've lost the venom I've lost the venom for good and uh, kind of sad if you guys have any of this venom and uh, you have a spare one please send it over to me but you can send um, you know the ones from like the attack packs it doesn't work yeah if you if you take this out okay and you put this right in i think it may still work i don't mind but uh yeah i mean if you guys have a spare one let me know i'm willing to purchase it from you okay and um you can actually send it over to me there's an address so this is actually one of the um, earlier ones okay i'm gonna show you more this was the very first one the very first the lava source and i feel this looks fantastic and you can see the paint scheme on the frills are actually paint printed by computer i, I think computerized uh, printing and um here is another one with a different color color variation which still looks fantastic and this one is actually um a 2015 figure if i'm not wrong from the very first jurassic world movie yeah the figures were actually very very hated by a the entire Jurassic Park fandom. Okay, these two are vintage figures. Not too sure which year, but I think it's from the 19... Um, should be from 1993, I think, or 1997. Okay, beautiful vintage looking figures. I don't think these figures came with frills. Okay, so yeah, very nice. Of course, we have, um, you know, the basic figures right here. Okay? All right, now let's move on to the Atrociraptors. All right, before we take a look at the Atrociraptors collection, we actually miss out one strike attack figure right here, Genodex series. So this is also one of the latest strike attack figures. So this will join the strike attack squad right here. Okay, sorry, before the Atrociraptors, we let's take a look at three long necked swimming dinosaurs just kidding three prehistoric marine reptiles okay they are known as plesiosaurs there's no such thing as um swimming dinosaurs or flying dinosaurs they are all prehistoric reptiles okay so plesiosaurus right here they are closely related to the huge boy behind okay Elasmosaurus is also a plesiosaur so this is th these are actually plesiosaurs as well but they are known as plesiosaurus this is a um, battle damage plesiosaurus quite a rare figure and um, this one it's a I would say savage strike I suppose and this is also another savage strike um, yeah Camp Cretaceous version if I'm not wrong so very cool three plesiosaurs including the one behind uh, that will make it four okay so now let's take a look at the atrociraptors collection um besides the smaller ones that i've shown you guys let's take a look at the, the bigger ones which are the 12 inch basic figure so this is red so for red it's actually quite similar to the one that i've shown you guys just now so you can take a look at this both of them doesn't have the, the patterns on the right thigh i mean on both the thighs okay this is basically the latest one a Atrociraptor tiger quite a rare figure you have to get the entire you know huge pack to be able to get it ghost ghost was basically the very first one i guess 
So Ghost was actually available individually together with Red. And of course, Tiger also came along with Panthera. So in order for me to complete you know, the set of four Atrociraptors, I had to spend quite a lot of money to acquire these two. It was not easy, but you know, we managed to get them. Okay, but of course, right at the back, what do we have? Atrociraptor Ghost, Super Colossal. Really cool. I mean, expect another um, paint scheme, I suppose. Yeah. Oh yes, and speaking of paint, you guys must be wondering when are why when am I going to complete the Mosasaurus? Yeah, I think it should it should arrive on time. I mean, it should be in time for um, Saturday. Hopefully, hopefully, guys. Okay, we have um four more Atrociraptors. We don't have many Atrociraptors to be honest. So let's have a look at this four. Okay, this four are not easy to differentiate in terms of um who, which is which. So for Ghost, it is very obvious. This is definitely Ghost. You can see um is is a white Atrociraptor with like some patterns. Um. This is Tiger, this is easy because Tiger has um, really dark stripes. Um, this is Red, so Red has some patterns. And this is Panthera. Panthera doesn't have um, a lot of patterns, just have a bit of patterns on the neck. So uh, I hope I've got it right. So you can see the colors, in terms of the colors, they are actually quite inconsistent. Okay, so I think I am done. I am done for the day. Okay. Alright guys, I am done for the day. So I'm gonna give you guys some updates. I've actually, you know, reorganized my room such that right here, I'm actually displaying only figures. The cases, the captive collection cases used to be there, but I've actually placed them right here. Yeah, just keeping them right here. And um, this little corner, actually belongs to, um, is dedicated to all the different books on dinosaurs. So I'll try to read some books to you guys as well. We, we, we'll go through them together. Uh, okay, wait a minute. So, yep. So you can see this is where I'm displaying um, the um, Hammond collection. Um, there will be more Hammond collection arriving soon. Matric, Cantosaurus, Corythosaurus. I'll be placing them right here. I'm pretty excited about them. Um, once the Mosasaurus repaint is done, I'm gonna be inserting this right here, the concavenator, which um, someone um, has, has asked me to purchase for them. We'll be collecting them very soon. So I have the space to put the Mosasaurus right here. Yeah, our repaint section will definitely grow slowly. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think that's about it, guys. So this is basically the updates. Um, yes, I will catch you guys on Saturday in the next video. Hopefully, hopefully, by Saturday, the Mosasaurus is up. I'll be super happy and excited, okay, to, to show you guys. Um, in the meantime, stay awesome. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not yet a subscriber, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I upload some reels over there. If you guys are interested to get a personalized video for yourself, for me to say like happy birthday to you, say hi to you, you know, or to your kids or to your parents or to your friends or your family, you can actually request for a personalized video. Just go on to our About Us tab on YouTube and uh, there's a link right there that says Sneak Feed, okay? You can just copy that link, paste it, and um, it will link you to a page where you can request for a personalized video just for yourself, okay? Thanks for watching this. There will be lots more really cool stuff coming out really soon. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye.